Spring is around the corner. With spring, harvest starts with asparagus, strawberries, those winter vegetables, and the spring vegetables have been planted. As spring carries on, we get into cherries, and then, of course, through summer and in autumn, onto the rest of the fruits. And all through that period, vegetables are being harvested. But one of the most important things that we need to sustain the harvest, need to sustain horticulture's growth, need to ensure that horticulture can contribute to our COVID recovery financially and keep us fed with healthy, fresh food grown locally, is we need water and workers. Water we have a lot of in winter and summer. We're now facing longer droughts. Workers, there's always been a reliance for our seasonal workforce who do our harvest and our pruning on offshore workers. But about 50% of that seasonal workforce is New Zealanders anyway. It's the other 50% that is the issue. How are we going to find that other 50%? There are some people from offshore who are stranded here and they'll help make up those numbers. And then we may be able to get some people into New Zealand if the bubble starts. But there is an enormous amount of New Zealanders needed redeploying New Zealanders into our seasonal harvest. Great jobs outdoors at the best time of year. To do this, we need to work closely with government to get the immigration settings right so those stranded people can get jobs, but also particularly work with government to ensure we get the balance of Kiwis to offshore workers correct. We're currently working with the government to achieve that. We just need to keep working with the government to keep ensuring that as we go into spring, we have the workers we're required for harvest so we can feed New Zealand, feed the world, and contribute to the COVID recovery. Flexibility and immigration settings will give us the certainty we need to go forward. That's what we're working on government, and that's what we aim to achieve.